be crew, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I washed my hair a few days ago, so I have a shrunken fro, and I'm gonna be using this Shekinah Joe Leave In Conditioner. I really, really like it. It's lightweight, and it doesn't weigh my hair down. So I'm just gonna spray that all over my fro. And then what I'm gonna do is split my hair in two sections, but I split it off with more in the back than in the front, and you guys will see why later. So I'm just doing that and then clipping it away. Start off at the back, and I'm gonna be using the Luster's Pink Curl and Twist Pudding. I really, really like this pudding, it's one of my favorites. So basically what I did was just split off my hair into little sections. I'm doing kind of like small twists and then I'm just going to twist my hair. I'm sure you guys all know how to do a two strand twist by now. <laughs> but yeah, I just twist and then I like to do this too y'all so I can go through and like detangle my hair and feel through my hair to see if I have any like single strand knots and then I just cut them out as I go. So this is a good way for me to feel through my hair and just make sure, you know, it's developing and flourishing in the way that I want it to. So yeah, I'm just continuing to twist my hair. So it took me about, I would say, 30 minutes to twist the back section of my hair, so not long at all. And like I said, I like to do this so that I can detangle my hair thoroughly. And then this style is nice because you can leave it in for a while. Now, as you guys can see, when I do styles like this, it shows how fine my hair actually is. I know to you guys, my hair looks really thick on camera but y'all it's not um i don't have dense foresty natural hair my hair is fine it doesn't have i don't have a lot of strands like a lot of people <laughs> so yeah when you guys say well your hair is not 4c it is it just isn't dense and like i said with styles like these you will be able to see that Moving on to the front section of my hair, I went ahead and clipped the twist out of my way and I'm going to spray some more of the Shekinah Joe Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm just going to take a rat tail comb and part diagonal and I'm going to make a flat twist there. So that's what I'm going to be putting in the front section of my hair now. I forgot to mention at the two strand twist that I did at the back, I did not use a comb for parting, I just used my fingers. So yeah, but I'm just going to do a flat twist. If you don't know how to do a flat twist, you can do braids or like the twisties where you just roll them. And yeah, so I'm just going to twist all the way to the end. And I'm only using this red tail comb for parting. Please, please, please do not comb through your fro with a red tail comb. You know what I'm saying? Use your wide tooth comb or use your fingers. But yeah, so... I'm just continuing to flat twist my hair and since my hair is on the finer side this style will last me like maybe two to three days because after a while my hair starts to stick up all over my head and it doesn't want to lay down properly so yeah because my hair is so fine y'all so yeah if your hair is thicker than mine then you will be up through there you can wear this style for a, a while. So I'm going to take some closed bobby pins and I'm literally going to pin down the twist, the flat twist, so that they will flow better and lay down to match like with the two strand twist at the back. So I'm kind of like rolling a few twists together and then pinning them into place as you guys can see here.
and this style is perfect for like if you're busy on the go if you go to the gym every day that way you don't have to worry about doing your natural hair or having to style it in the morning before school so this is the hairstyle from all angles so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful thanks for watching and i will see you all in my next one bye